there has been some criticism of the president's policy in Iraq. Let me show you what our next guest, Newt Gingrich, said earlier in the week uh, about our policy in Iraq. The U.S. looks like an isolated bully using very sophisticated weapons to no purpose. So we look arrogant and impotent at the same time. Well, I uh, think he's misstated it quite uh, vividly because the issue here is it just has been reported. Uh, it looks as though Saddam Hussein is not going to uh, do anything else. I think we've had the support of our friends and allies. Uh, we have, with the alliance and with uh, strong support from the Security Council, made very sure that he cannot break out in terms of the weapons of mass destruction. Um, so I think that we have acted responsibly. Uh, we have the support of our allies. We are not alone. Although I have to say something, Tim, that when our national interests are threatened, we're not afraid to act alone. It's very interesting. Sometimes we're criticized for trying to get approval of uh, other countries, and other times we're criticized for going it alone. The bottom line is we will go it alone when we have to, and we will seek assistance uh, where we can. Is it helpful when Republicans like Jack Kemp, Newt Gingrich, John McCain criticize the president's policy? Well, I think it's always more helpful if we can talk with one voice uh, when we're involved in an international uh, situation of some kind. I think that uh, people find solace in differences among us. So obviously it's much better if we can talk with one strong voice. Could Saddam Hussein misinterpret our intentions? Well, uh, we, the administration is making our intentions very clear, and uh, that's very loud and clear, and I hope that that's what he's listening to. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.